So I got the longboard last week. Today is uh, just a work day, so uh, we're gonna try it out, see what it's like. There is no way this is gonna be good for the environment. Ugh. Ooh, how much junk's in there? Oh, there's not a lot. Oh, wow. Usually there's a bunch of gunk. Like, see all that at the, at the bottom there? Yeah, usually there's a bunch of it. Hi, Mia. <laughs> all right, everybody, That's a cool home. looking hat. Man, I need you up on Man, that is thick. I do this thing where um, I don't live at this place. I don't live at this house, but uh, they still ask me to cut the grass, which is fine. I'm okay with it. I actually enjoy cutting the grass. I really don't enjoy cutting the grass at my house because that's with a push mower. I like being outside, and one reason for that is because I get to wear this hat. Because this hat was like my favorite hat. It still is pretty much my favorite hat. Well, someone's been making comments, my mom, and she's like, you look homeless. <laughs> Decisions, decisions. So, Storks it is. Okay, Storks. Solid 10 out of 10. Straight up, absolutely. We already got the tickets, we're going in. Oh man, this sucks. Yeah, I noticed this whenever we were watching Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven, good movie by the way. P pretty, pretty spot on. It does not deserve the kind of reviews that it's getting right now, but I still think Storks was a better movie than Magnificent Seven, just saying. Bad news is, I, this, that's gonna suck. Good news is, got an extra pair. Oh, I have another pair? Oh, no, those are my fancy shoes, never mind. I don't even like coffee. Here I am, just cutting the grass. Just trying to pick a stick up out of the way, and then one of the sticks move. Hey, little buddy. Oh, no, all right, there you go. Everybody, watch out. Dyson, he's cool. Go subscribe to his YouTube. Ooh, that's uh, that's gonna take some time. Worst part about Mondays, gotta sit there and look out that way. I'm not saying it's a bad view, far from it. It's just that I have to sit in that room and it's one of the most boring classes I've ever been in and I have to just look at this beautiful nature that's going on without me. What the heck are you doing here? Get out of here. I've been looking forward to this all day. These always make me think that I'm like trying to be a superhero. Like these, like I'd have like a Spider-Man mask go on underneath them. Mr. Anderson. Are these even close to the glasses he wore in the camera? Okay, sorry other glasses that didn't make it. You guys were okay, you guys were bad. I mean, bye. Good luck. 
I'm gonna put them back up. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually shown anybody where I throw all my shoes whenever they uh, go. Calm down, you two. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually shown anyone what happens to my shoes when they need to retire to the uh, to the graveyard. So uh, this is this is what I do. I take them off. I throw them over there. I'm gonna be wearing sunglasses for the rest of this vlog for no reason. Derek's here. Where, Derek? Why are we here? Because we're watching the debate. <laughs> yeah, well, see, here's the thing. Derek texted me and was like, yo, hey, can I come over to your house and watch the debate, the debate tonight? Which, you guys know what it is. Hillary Trump Hillary debate. Trump, yeah. yeah, that one. Uh, well, it, Owen, just bring him the toy already. Jeez. So anyways, um, dude, I swear. So anyways, um, Derek was like, can I watch it over at your house? And I was like, oh, dude, look at Derek being a responsible adult, keeping up with presidential election stuff. No, Derek, why do you want to watch it? I'm forced to. Yeah, that's right. Well, what class? Sociology. What? He's not tearing it up. He's laying on it like a normal dog. Owen, I'm so proud of you. You're laying on it like a normal dog. You're not tearing it up. I'm sure. I have become everything I hate. I'm wearing sunglasses inside. gonna kind of suck. Got a banner. Got a bike. Banner. Bike. I gotta go home. So, I got an email this morning talking about Gamma Epsilon Tau that apparently they're having their inductions today or tonight, so gonna go do that. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing there. They just said dress business casually. I gotta tell you, I'm I'm nervous. If you haven't figured it out in the past couple videos, this is my dress nicely shirt. That's it. What is that? You know it's a muskrat? Oh. I don't know what I was worried about. Like I said I was like nervous about going to get like the whole the, uh, Gamma Epsilon Tau thing. Oh no. I said I was nervous about going to it. I really shouldn't have been. I was kind of worried that maybe it would have been like a half hour, hour long deal where I had to like pay attention to be like a written test and I'd have to give a speech at the end or whatever. No, nothing like that. I sat down, uh, they told, or uh, they said this is what the organization represents, this is what the letters mean. Congratulations, you are now officially a member of, congratulations, you are now officially a member of Gamma Epsilon Tau Iota Chapter. Also, they gave me this sweet pen. Oh, dude, this is awesome. When they first said pen, I thought they meant like a writing pen, but this is, this is sweet. This is now part of my like fancy formal attire. It's going right next to my pocket watch, all right? It, this is that good. Bowling night, 10 out of 10. Oh, okay, 7 out of 10. I didn't do very well at bowling. Um, also, wearing glasses at nighttime makes it really hard to see where... Oh, down to the truck. All right, so I give my art appreciation class a lot of... Something I do have to give props to, there was a point today where it was towards the end of the lecture where she was talking about uh, art pieces. And we were focusing on we were focusing on these two female artists. She was primarily focused on art pieces, uh, just like showing the social and private lives of women. And then there was like another one of like a lady who uh, on strong, powerful women taking revenge on evil men. Like that was the thing. Her big, uh, her big one was Judith and uh, killing Holofern, Hol Holoferns. I can't remember his name. And so she's like, can you tell the difference between a uh, male artist and a female artist just by looking at the work. A lot of people in class were saying, yeah, I can tell the difference because a man's not going to understand the, uh, the, a man's not going to understand the uh, emotional connection that between a mother and her child, which I agree. There's no way as a man that I can understand the, I can understand the 
connection between a mother and her child. There's just no way I can ever process that. Uh, but as an art piece, I, I can still look at an art piece and not be like, hey, yeah, a man did that or a woman did that. I think she knows what she's doing. She then started putting up uh, pictures, just random pictures, of, or sorry, random paintings and drawings and saying, hey, did a man do this or did a woman do this? And class was not able to figure it out. Well, maybe we can't tell the difference between men and women and their paintings just by looking at the paintings. Art teacher lady, I can't remember your name. I apologize, I never really had to talk to you. Howdy everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Levi Grant Show. Thank you very much for tuning in. Oh boy, what to talk about this week? Well, first off, I can take those off now. I, I don't know why halfway through the video I challenged myself to only wear sunglasses for the rest of the vlog. Doing something a little different with the Levi Grant show this time. Got into camera, testing something out, see just how it works. I'll go back to being at the desk with my microphone next week. I just wanted to test this thing out. Couple of things I want to talk about. First off, the debate between Clinton and Trump on Monday. Oh my goodness gracious. Not only did it make me feel very comfortable in believing that I will not be voting for either candidate, but when me and Derek were watching it halfway through, I just had the sudden realization that, oh my goodness gracious, more than likely either of these people are going to become the next President of the United States, and I just let that sink in. But hey, this year, go vote. Like they've talked about for years, like just how important voting is. And yes, voting is very important, but I do think that this is a year where things could actually change. I think mainly that's because I'm a college student and I just like built up in the head that you can do it, we can do it mentality. So I think that's pretty much what that's coming from. Something else I'd like to talk about. Karma, GoPro's drone, came or was announced last week, and it actually looked really interesting. It looked like a pretty decent drone, had its own stabilization unit, and it came with like a 4K camera for $1,100. It seemed, like, it seemed like a very good portable alternative to DJI's Phantom 4, which is pretty much the top dog of drones right now. Well, a couple days ago, DJI announced their brand new drone, DJI Mavic Pro, which is a I can, for lack of a better term, direct competitor to Karma. The thing is no bigger than a water bottle whenever it's all folded up. It's super portable, incredibly rugged. It's it's amazing. It also has a 4K camera attached to it, and it is awesome. And everybody's been like, well, what drone should I get? Karma or Mavic? Well, everyone that's been saying you need a better drone, they go with Mavic, which I agree. Mavic is a superior drone. It's made by DJ DJI, which they specialize in drones. 27 minute flight time, go up to four miles away from you. It's got a really cool looking controller. You can control it with your phone. For consumers, people that are primarily like me, consumers that are primarily just interested in capturing one or two moments and not actually wanting to film all the time, they might actually go with a GoPro. GoPro is really good of very short flight times. You can then take it off, use the stabilization gimbal. Plus, you have the GoPro and the Karma, and when you don't want to use a drone, you can take it out and you have a whole other camera. It's really nice. I guess all I'm trying to say is that the drones look really cool and I'm very excited and I'm thinking about getting one. Now, last thing I want to do is an unboxing. I know what you're thinking. Levi, you never do unboxing videos. True. But I ordered these like forever ago. Reveal. I ordered these shoes like about a month ago, I don't know, whenever DeFranco was doing these shoe giveaways. It's like amazing. I love it. Can't tell if it's focused in or not. I don't know if I'll ever actually wear these outside. I mean, they're really nice. I gotta try, I gotta put them on though, at least once. My only problem with these shoes is that they came in whole numbers. I don't know, the, the, I don't know if that like makes it. They, uh, like I wear a 10 and a half, this is an 11. They only had 10s. Oh, they only had like 9s, 10s, 11s. They didn't have halves. Oh, hot diggity dang, son. Oh, dude, these look great. Here, let's see. Here, let me. Oh, they're all flowery and stuff? I, I love them. They're great. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Dude, I don't know where I can wear these, though. They're great, and I'm, I'm not saying that, like, they're, like, I don't want to wear them in public. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, that's going to take some getting used to. Like, I keep zooming in on my face, accidentally. Don't, don't get me wrong, I, I love these shoes. They look amazing, but I just don't want to dirty them, you know? 
Like, I feel bad that I'm wearing them in my house. My house is filthy. I mean, look at that. I have to live with that. That thing? You know what that thing does? So yeah, guys, that's my week. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Uh, hopefully, next vlog will be tippy-top. Hopefully. Bye, guys.